everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Zung, your high conflict resolution attorney, and today we are diving into a really interesting topic, and that is the seven signs that a narcissist is done with you. I know sometimes you might be celebrating sometimes you might be like oh my god what the heck is going on because you might be really still wanting to be in a relationship with this person but regardless of whether you're doing the discarding or they're doing the discarding you're wondering is this it is this done what's going on here and i've been on both sides of the equation in professional settings where I've been representing the person or I've been helping the person in the work that I do now with my SLAY programs and teaching people now through my certification programs how to spot the signs. And I've also been in the situation in a personal matter through my business partnerships, which was not fun. And I've also seen it in family matters. So I've seen it in a, an array of settings, unfortunately, or fortunately, because now I get to help you guys in a global way. So stay tuned because you're going to know by the end of this video what the seven signs are that a narcissist is actually done with you. I also address this in my USA Today bestselling book, which is Slay the Bully, How to Negotiate with a Narcissist and Win. And if you haven't read that, you can definitely pick up a copy of that as well. But before we dive in, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure that you do that now and turn on that notification bell so that you never miss any of the empowering content that we have here for you on this channel. And if you haven't gotten my Disarm the Narc phrases for disarming narcissists, make sure you get those. It's disarmthenarc.com also. All right. So we all know how challenging it is to navigate relationships with narcissists, whether it's in your personal life or at work. Understanding when a narcissist is done with you can be a crucial step in your journey to empowerment. So let's get started with that first sign. Sign number one is they become emotionally distant with you. They're known for their intense emotional needs. They need that endless amount of supply. That's their food. It's their lifeblood. It's their oxygen. What's going on? If they start to emotionally withdraw from you, then you might notice that maybe they're getting their needs met somewhere else. Maybe they have a new source of supply somewhere and that might be a telltale sign that something is really up. They might no longer be asking you for something. You know, maybe it's sex. They're looking to control you the same way. Maybe they're not doing that as much anymore. If they're not interested in what's going on with you as much anymore, then there could be something going on. It can be tough, but recognizing that this is a sign will empower you to figure out what your next step is. What are your next moves? What are you going to do and start taking control of that situation to figure out what's going to be your strategy? So that's part of my slay method, strategy, leverage, anticipate, and focus on you. So you can start building that leverage. You can start anticipating. You can start focusing on you, your mindset, your, your offensive strategy. So if they're starting to disengage, then that might be a sign. So that's number one. Number two is they start devaluing you. They start in, yeah, they were devaluing you in the first place with that love bomb devaluing and discard phase. But if they start heavily devaluing you even more, I mean, you know, they thrive on making you feel in, inferior, but if they are really done with you, it intensifies, you know, there's no more love bombing mixed in as much. It's really just intensifying on the devaluing. It's belittling your achievements completely. It's they don't care about the love bombing more. You can tell because where's that 
need to make sure that they're worried about losing you or having that tie, mocking your aspirations, belittling your career accomplishments, saying things like anyone could do what you do. I want you to remember that their words do not define your worth. The next one is that they become dismissive. A narcissist who's done with you might start ignoring your opinions. A lot of times when you are with a narcissist, they do look to you for your opinions. They look to you for your ideas. They can be sort of dependent creatures, even though they can be controlling and they can be, you know, that love bomb to value stage. They can also be sort of emotionally dependent on you. You'll start to notice that doesn't happen. They can start to roll your eyes when you speak. They can actually start to not care what your opinion is about how they dress or how they look anymore. You can start to see that your thoughts don't matter about what's going on with them. That's part of the distancing, but your input on things that they're doing isn't interesting to them anymore. For example, there's something that they're doing at work or something creative that they're up to, or maybe it's a book that they're reading or whatever it is. They're not interested in your opinions. They don't give whatever it is that your thoughts are. They don't give it any consideration, whereas they might have in the past. That's a clear indication that they're not, that they're really no longer valuing you. So, and if you guys are starting to see this, give me an, I see this in the comments. I see this in the comments. And then I want to know what other kinds of things that you're seeing. Let's get a discussion together because if if you're seeing these sorts of things and other people are starting to see them too, your comments can actually help others and you guys can start to engage with each other and create that sense of community. That's what we have going on in my Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zong, which I highly encourage that you guys join because when you do that, you guys can also help each other as well. There's a quote from Rumi, which I love which is set the world on fire, seek those who fan your flames. The fact that you're here, the fact that we're engaging in this, in this discussion, the fact that we're all in this place at this time, it's not an accident. You found this channel because you were meant to be here. Your soul is searching to raise your vibrational level because you were meant for more. And that's what's happening. You're awakening right now to the possibilities that you are, and you will be silenced no more. Once you start to realize that your truer, higher self is calling you to be that person that you were meant to be, that you were meant to shine, you cannot go back to what you once were. It's not possible. You can't go back to the smaller version of yourself anymore. And that's okay. Don't apologize for growth. If they're creating distance, it's probably also because you are also growing and discovering the bigger, truer, higher version of yourself too. Remember, radio waves cannot, cannot travel with light waves. And if you are traveling at a higher speed because you're vibrationally growing, then that's who you are. The next one is that they'll start to triangulate. They're going to start to smear. They're going to start to pit other people against each other to maintain control. So when they're done with you, they may start involving other people in conflict. They may even start smearing you, but sometimes if there are a covert narcissist, they might even do it in terms of care. Oh, I'm so concerned about so-and-so. I'm concerned about their drinking. Hmm. 
just really worried about them. They do that to seek to create divisions or to get people on their side, to line them up against them. They gossip about, gossip about you to mutual friends or colleagues to try to turn them against you. I'm worried about their mental health. Hmm. These are manipulative tactics that they use. So you have to figure out what's going on early on. Keep your eyes open. So the next one is when they start with this triangulation, it could turn into a full-blown smear campaign. It might start off with just a little bit of triangulation. It might turn into a, a full-blown smear campaign where they start to spread rumors about you. They could spread false accusations to people about you, your personal life, that could actually damage you and your credibility. It could damage you at work. It could tarnish your reputation. But here's what I want you to know if this actually happens. The truth will come out. It always does. The cream always rises to the top. Do not think that you have to defend yourself against every little thing. So this is what I always say, never jade. Never justify, argue, defend, or explain. Just pretend like you're reporting the news. Your actions will speak louder than words. If you try to get down into the mud with them, then it's just going to look like two little kids who are arguing. The judge will be like, oh, everybody's wrong. So do not get down into the mud with them. Sign number seven, they actually do discard you. They actually do discard you. They actually do say, I'm done with you. Let's be done. I'm moving out. I found somebody else. I'm in love with someone else. I want a divorce. Or I'm starting a new business. I'm done with this business. Or you're fired. Or whatever it is, depending on what the situation is here. And if this happens, they might actually just do it so badly abruptly end the, the relationship like without warning text message ghost you no explanation no closure it can be incredibly painful but let me tell you something they are doing you a favor it is such a favor rejection is protection when a narcissist leaves you without warning they're doing you a favor move forward toward your healthier life. Now that we've discovered the seven signs in more detail, I want to hear from you. Have you experienced any of these signs with narcissists in your relationships, professionally or personally? Share your thoughts in the comments. Let's engage in a supportive community. Be there for each other. Let's be there for each other. Remember, we are drawing each other to your highest self, your authentic power. That's what this is about. And remember, I have something special for you. Your 15 phrases for disarming narcissists. They are the coolest. They are the best. So make sure you get them. Disarmthenarc.com. Make sure you have subscribed here and hit that notification bell. Also, like this video, share it with others. Make sure you like it and share it. And the next video that I want you to watch is 15 phrases that narcissists hate. I'm Rebecca Zung, high conflict resolution attorney. And I will see you in that next video. Remember, today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I'll see you there. That's the sound of customers rushing to your store. Do you have a point of sale system that you can trust? Or is it a hmm, POS? Do you need a Shopify store for your retail? Shopify helps you be that command center for your retail store. From accepting payments to managing inventory, Shopify has everything you need to sell as if you're in person. With Shopify, you get that powerhouse selling partner that effortlessly unites your in-person and on online sales into one source. Track every sale across your business in one place and know exactly what's in stock. I use it myself. Connect with customers in line and online just like i do shopify helps you drive your store traffic with plug and play tools built from marketing to TikTok to instagram and beyond 
get hardware that fits your business, and you take your payments by smartphone and transform your tablet into a point of sale system. Or use Shopify's POS Go Mobile for a battle tested solution. Plus, Shopify's award winning help is there for you. They have a support system that's there to help you, there to help your, your, your customers every step of the way. So, do retail right with Shopify. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com forward slash best life, all lowercase, and go to shopify.com best life to take your retail business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash best life.